Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematical Moments from Midland Science. In this video we're going to read a story called Winnie Flies Again. It's a story about Winnie the Witch and it's written and illustrated by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul. Winnie the Witch always travelled by broomstick. It was a wonderful way to travel. Winnie would jump onto her broomstick. Wilbur would jump onto her shoulder and they would zoom up into the sky. There were no traffic lights, no traffic jams, just the empty sky. Is Winnie up high in the sky? How do you know? Do you think that flying is faster than travelling on the ground in a car or in a bus? Why do you think that? How fast do cars normally travel on the roads around you, if they're not stuck in traffic? How fast would you estimate that Winnie can travel on her broomstick? Well, that was how it used to be. But just lately, the sky had become rather crowded. Last week, Winnie didn't see a helicopter. Wilbur lost two of his whiskers. The week before that, she didn't see a hang glider. Wilbur's tail was bent. The week before that, a very tall building suddenly got in her way. Wilbur lost a clump of fur. Look at all of the houses in the countryside surrounding the very tall building. Which is your favourite house? Why would you like to live there? What ways could you travel to and from your chosen house? If the sea is to the north of the tall building, describe what is to the north, to the south, to the east and to the west of the house that you have chosen as your favourite. What happened to Winnie? What way is she sitting on her broomstick now and where is her hat? If you're facing in one direction and you turn all the way around to go back to the way you were facing at the start, we call this a full rotation. How much of a rotation would Winnie have to turn through to be back sitting up straight on her broomstick? The sky is too dangerous, Wilbur, said Winnie. We'll have to try something else. So she took out her wand, waved it and shouted, Abracadabra! Her broomstick turned into a bicycle, but it was very slow, very hard to pedal. And then... A pond got in Winnie's way. She should look where she's going, croaked a frog. A bicycle is worse than a broomstick, Wilbur, said Winnie. We'll have to try something else. So she took out her wand, waved it and shouted, Abracadabra! What do you think Winnie should try next? Her bicycle turned into a skateboard. The skateboard was fast, but it was hard to steer and impossible to stop. Winnie was stopped by an ice cream seller. Can't you see where you're going? He shouted. A skateboard is worse than a bicycle, Wilbur, said Winnie. We'll have to try something else. So she took out her wand waved it and shouted Abracadabra. Her skateboard turned into a horse and they trotted slowly down the path. This is much better than bicycles or skateboards, said Winnie. But she didn't see. Oh no, what did Winnie not see? What is along the road ahead of her? What is below the cliff edge? the low branch of a tree. This time, Winnie didn't say anything. She was hanging from a branch. Slowly and carefully, Winnie climbed down from the tree. I think we'll walk home, Wilbur, said Winnie. Uh-oh, what is Wilbur trying to tell Winnie? What is ahead of Winnie on the footpath? 
Talk about the other things that you can see under the ground. They limped slowly along the road. It was a very, very slow way to travel, but it was safe. Until Winnie stepped into a hole and tumbled deep down under the ground. Winnie climbed out of the tunnel and went into a shop. A cup of tea and a muffin, please, she said, and a saucer of milk for my cat. We don't sell cups of tea or muffins, said the shop lady, and we don't have saucers of milk. But I think I can help you. And she sold Winnie a pair of spectacles. Now Winnie and Wilbur travel everywhere by broomstick. It's a wonderful way to travel. Can you spot the little pony on this page? Near the bridge outside the castle. Give directions for the pony to get to the city without passing any dragons. He can travel over fields, but he should probably avoid them because he could trample crops and spoil them. So he would be better off sticking to the road. When possible. Be as accurate as you can in the directions that you give the pony to make sure that he gets there. Use left and right and landmarks along the way. If you like, you could make up distances. Just make sure they're consistent. If you think that the distance between the two dragons near the city is 40 metres, then the, the distance from the pony to the orange dragon is about 100 metres. Winnie's view is called a bird's eye view. We usually see things from the street view. Can you see the church on this page? Draw a diagram of what you could see if you were standing beside the church. Thank you very much for listening to our story today. We hope you enjoyed it and that you enjoyed thinking about all the mathematics in the story. We look forward to seeing you again in Midland Science. Music